think the future of Philippine business in, in New Zealand, in Auckland particularly, is very bright. It's, it's, it's exciting. Um, it's, it's exciting because um, the increased flow of information will push a lot of opportunities uh, to, to arise. No? Uh, and, and with bigger opportunities and more opportunities, there's always the possibility of uh, increased trade which is good for both countries. Already, New Zealand and the Philippines are trading partners. Um, the Philippines buys a lot of things uh, from New Zealand. And New Zealand has been depending on uh, the Philippines uh, for a lot of our very good and skilled uh, labor. So there's already interaction. But what these agreements will do is to highlight the abilities of, of Philippine business and the capabilities of investment on both sides to make things happen. So, well, the fact that President Aquino has come all the way to New Zealand is a big encouragement to not only the New Zealand government but to New Zealand business also that the Philippines is serious about upping its game to uh, be very much involved with New Zealand business. And so, it's a big encouragement, both to both sides, not just New Zealand business, but also to the Filipinos who are businessmen in New Zealand. Because it shows that the president is aware of New Zealand, and that awareness shows that um, he, he knows that there is a vital role that New Zealand plays in Philippines' uh, economy and, and, and business. President Aquino's visit comes after uh, an increased encounter uh, between New Zealand and Philippine government already. Um, when Ambassador Virginia Benavides came to New Zealand um, in uh, October, November of last year, 2011, she already provided a lot of inspiration to Philippine business and Filipino professionals to get together and uh, to to speak loudly and clearly to New Zealand business that we are, uh, Philippines, is ready for business. And so after uh, Ambassador Virginia Benavides came, then uh, PESA, uh, Philippine Economic Zone Authority Director General Lilia de Lima came, and she did a roadshow of presentations to New Zealand business and to the big banks. And she's already sparked even more interest. And then, uh, now that uh, Philippine, Philippine President Aquino is coming, then the entire New Zealand uh, is seeing a follow-through of, of a sincere and, and uh, determined effort by, by the Philippines to highlight its capabilities for bilateral trade. So, um, President Aquino's coming is sort of a, the stamp of authority uh, for the Philipp that the Philippine government is keen to make things happen and, and push Filipino business and New Zealand business together to make things happen.